Tonight, all 19 members of the Jacksonville City Council will be formally sworn in, including the newly elected president and the vice president as well. Ron Salem will serve as council president and Randy Weiss as vice president. News for Jacks reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now live from outside TIA Bank Field. And Ashley, as we know, the Jags are just one of the many issues this new council will need to tackle. That is true, and don't get us wrong, the Jaguars really are a big topic, especially when you're talking about the proposed renovations to the stadium, but there's also the roughly $1.5 billion city budget, plus the ongoing issues, including the Confederate monuments and also affordable housing right here in Jacksonville. After tonight's installation, City Hall will be home to a new council with Ron Salem in the top position as council president. This new council makeup will be a Republican supermajority of 14 to 5 Democrats. News for Jack spoke with Salem last month about the new council and about the dynamic with Democratic mayor-elect Donna Deegan. Well, it all depends on how much she changes the, the budget that uh, the Curry administration has provided her. I think we'll support many things that, uh, that are in that budget, and if there are differences, we'll have to have that debate. What do you think of the makeup of the council now after this election? Well, it's, uh, it's an interesting combination. Um, I'm looking forward to getting those new people acclimated and training and those kind of things so that we can get them up to speed on all the issues we're facing. Salem has said a priority for him is to relocate the Duval County Jail from its current location on East Bay Street. That's a process that could take several years. But the sheriff agrees, saying the current jail is in rough condition. But the cost of building a new one could be around $250 million. As far as getting things done, Mayor-elect Donna Deegan says she's confident her administration and the council will work side by side. I've been here a long time. Uh, many of them have as well. I have relationships with a lot of our city council folks, and, and I feel very, very comfortable that we'll be able to work together. My entire message in this campaign was we've got to bring everybody in and create a city that has all of our voices in the room, and I believe that we'll work together to do that. And tonight's installation of the council is open to the public. It'll be at the Jacksonville Center for Performing Arts, and that address is 300 Water Street. The ceremony is tonight at 6 o'clock. Now, the mayor-elect's inauguration will happen July 1st, and we are told that it is sold out. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.